Well, good morning and welcome, happy YouTubers. Um, today we got to cut some deer, just like normal. Um, first one's a buck, second one's a buck, third one's a doe, fourth one's a buck, fifth one's a buck, and so on and so forth. Um, this one doesn't identify as anything because it's not circled, so. Um, yeah, we got steak and half inch steaks, three quarter steaks. Got some beef to do in some of the burger. Got a neck roast on that one. Basically, mostly all I'm gonna do today is record damages and any nice deer that come in. So I gotta get started. So I hope you enjoy the video. We'll see you soon. Here's our first one this morning. So they got it through this side. They missed the freaking uh, front shoulder, but when it came out this side, they got the, sh the front shoulder. See the hole right here. Um, the neck meat's still good. Hind quarters should be all good. And you can see the damage here. Um, so when we slice into that, they're gonna lose a lot of meat right in this area. But what can you do, right? Pretty gross, I know, but that's the destruction that happens when you shoot your deer through the front shoulders. And I know it's hard because you're trying to get that shot and they move or they might move their leg or they might be at a different angle. But it is what it is. So I'm going to get started on this one. And well, actually, I'll tell you what we got to make. He's sitting up the grinder right now. Oh, okay, so on this one, uh, it's half inch steaks. Inner loin steak, backstrap steak, hind quarter steak. They want four roasts. They want their burger with beef, and then they want some breakfast sausage. So we're gonna get started on that, get that done, and I'm gonna record destruction and any of the nice deer that come in and all that for you today. So I hope you enjoy the video. We'll see you as soon as we get some more stuff. So I'm over here cutting away, and Kenny says, "Come on over with your camera and look what I found." Oh, neat. A, like a tumor or something? Well, as hard as a rock, I'm not sure. Does it look like mine? Uh, yeah. I don't know what it is, but it's it's solid. A growth or something? Yeah, a bone spur maybe. We are not veterinarians. That was painful. If anybody knows what that is, please let us know in in the comments. Yeah. Hmm. Pretty neat though. All right, back to work. Looks like we got some deer. Clean up that lens. Yeah. Seven. What's that? Nine, ten. Huh. Nice. Ooh. Gonna get back to work. I'm gonna try to get all these clips for you all. Look at this deer coming in, folks. 218 pounds. Wow. Yeah. 
Crazy. All right, just tell Sharon to come on out and grab that cake later on. Let me get it done right here. Yeah, we'll see you do it. All right, that's that buck. Say 218. 218, yeah. And Kenny's going to skin it out or cape it. So, cool. So I guess they uh, found it, it they, a couple days later, or a day later, or something like that. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna process it right now because it's got a little green in here, but it's not into the meat yet. It's just starting. So if we don't process it now, it won't be no good. So we're gonna we're gonna do it. You'll see, it, it, it's all good except for the inside. You know, after you punch it, it gets a little bit of stuff on it. So let's get it done. We'll see ya. It's supposed to be a nice deer coming in, so we'll see if that comes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Nice. Yeah, when you sent me pictures of that last night, I was like, yeah, I can't wait to get that one in. Yeah. All right, we'll just take him in for now. That way I can get him on the rail. I'll come back out and get the other one. Yep. Sweet. That's nice. All right, I'm gonna get back to work. Sisters, 
Isabella, right? Yeah, so I'll get you caked up right away. Yeah, just like, when do you think 
You want to come get me? You got a half hour, 45 minutes, probably. Today? Yeah. Oh, shit. We'll just go to the trading post and we'll come back. But yeah, I'm just going to get on to it. I don't believe anybody's showing up to interrupt me. Don't just do that. So, uh, yeah. I have a Jeremy Eldridge at noon, but I should have it done by then. So. Okay. Yeah. That's a good one to do. We'll go down to the trading post. Yeah, that's a, that's a I got them at 97. Uh, I ran over a dough on the way to Rockwood this morning and a half day of work there, man. Came home and cleaned that dough off and uh, I had like five minutes to sit. So I got out and I sat right on the ground. Didn't even bring nothing with me, just my jacket, gun, and gear. And I see what I thought was a six or eight point. So I'm like, oh shit. So I swung around and took a shot and I heard crash, 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 crash. I'm like, okay. I'm not waiting. I'm hitting up. It was dark, I didn't have my gear. Right. I go down and there's a little squad of blood in the road and I'm like, whoa, well, I hit it. Yeah, yeah. And I look over on the side of the skitter, right, there's blood everywhere. That's the minute great. I step up on it, all I could see was half of his rack. I couldn't see his body because I didn't stop it. And that rack was sticking out and I was like, yeah, you better not move. <laughs> yeah. And then I was counting and I was like, all fuck fevered up. I couldn't figure out whether it was a 12, a 13, a 11. Like, I had to count it like five times. <laughs> Yes, that's, that's my favorite. That's they awesome. say the guy that owned the golf, golf course at Burnham yeah. um, said that he swam across the lake and he saw him that morning cross up the golf course. Yeah. 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 He sucked by that story right till his deathbed. So yeah. I'm going to stick to it till I get it. Yeah, that's awesome right there. I see one behind my house. I feed him in the wintertime. Yeah. I had one come out, he only had the right side on. I know it was six inches down through where it's like this. Yeah. I was like, holy shit, I'd like to see this other side, you know, but right. then he lost it and we never found it. Oh. We go out in the shed hunt, you know, and yeah. try to get him, but I never found it. Now, is it illegal to have the feeders that help knock the sheds off? No. I was thinking about doing that now. I, I, heard actually, them. I actually raised one last year because I had to plot a cedar up behind my house, so I'll cut cedar to, to feed them. Yeah. You know, plus I'm giving grain right. and whatnot. But I had them stumps were about this high. Yeah. And I took a cedar stick and put it across the top, and then one on each side. Right. And put the food down in there, and I actually ended up getting two horns last year. Nice. This is an interesting one, folks. So, this is a um, seized deer, and they've given it to this fella. That's pretty cool. So, they took it from somebody that shot it at night, and had it in the garage. Oh, wrong way out. Kenny's putting this one on the rail so we can put that one in the cooler. Yep. Yeah. Three five five. 
We are having lunch. I got myself a Whopper and fries. We got a meal deal with a coupon. But anyways, so we just had a warden show up. Somebody had shot a deer illegally or something. So he was just here and picked it up. Um, fortunately, I didn't get it on recording. But I just wanted to let you guys know that that's what just happened. So they're going to reimburse us for what we did, the work we did. And that's pretty cool. But anyways, I'm going to finish my lunch. And then we're going to get back to crazy deer and everything else. So... We'll see you. And this new specimen that just came out, you can see the giant hole through the front shoulders destroyed. Um, this one has been trimmed off by Kenny, so that must have been destroyed too. Yeah, so that's more destruction for you folks. I hope you enjoyed that. It's really awesome. Now we're going to get to work. All right, that's what Kenny managed to get out of the front shoulders that were shot. You know, it happens, so, you know, happens to the best of us, I guess. Like I said earlier, you try to take a shot and the deer moves or it's running or something, but you gotta try to not do that. So, all right, I got some backstabs and some inners, and we're gonna get going. All right, we got this deer right here. Look at the size of that hole. That was one shot. Hold on. Wait, so you use a 300? 300 mag. Comparison. <laughs> well, all right, guys. We got a couple more deer in here. Um, just about the end of the day. Some interesting stuff happened. Hope you enjoyed the video. Tomorrow, the first deer is all stew meat, so... We're gonna get cleaned up and we're gonna get out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Keep on naturing. Go back and watch some of the other videos um, so you can get caught up to what's going on this season. Other than that, we'll see you next time. Peace.